What's this I see? A portal? Builds? Is this a new SMP? That's right, I'm Tom B92, and this is the Artisan Collective. The Artisan Collective is a relatively new server for content creators who have invited me along for the journey. And this is Spawn and the Shopping District, which I'm sure by the end of the episode, once we've found our feet, we will come and spend some diamonds. But me, I have some exciting news. I have a base buddy. My old friend Colortong from my days of playing Bedrock. Well, he... Why are there a load of axes? Okay. <laughs> well, he and I, we're going to be sharing a base and we've got some really exciting plans for the season. I can't wait to show you what we're going to be up to. But for now, I think we should uh, follow the paths see where the roads take us and see if we can find any server members on a tour. Here we find ourselves at Jade Cougar's base, who is putting together some lovely work around here. Now looking at the members online, Jade is AFK, so uh, well, we're not going to get to say hello, but how about we leave a little present? We've managed to find ourselves AFK Jade Cougar who is chopping away and chopping away at a skelly spawner. Nice little setup. Now you might see what we're going to get up to here. We've got some glow lichen. We've got some bone meal. I'll let your imagination do the working out. Well we can say it's uh, gonna be a little bit brighter around this area. Now having joined a server that is well underway they already have an established nether hub and we can use this to go and see someone else's base and i think we should go and see bjorn let's see if uh bjorn oh there is an upside down ravager uh that will probably one shot me in this armor currently so let's keep our distance and i'm guessing you're mr dinnerbone hey bjorn hello hello is this mr dinnerbone well, you, yeah I'll, yeah so his name is grum ah uh -huh. I'll, I'll so keep my distance from him. <laughs> it should be okay. I was, did they not hit you while they're in the main minecart? They do, but uh, it, they like. I don't know what it is with him. He like 50 50 if he wants to hit you or not. All right. Maybe he has a sniff test and checks if you're all right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. guess that gives me that answer. <laughs> oh, you two are friends. <laughs> yeah, it's my guard dog. Yeah, you've spent enough time together that you're friends now. Yeah. So uh, I'm just doing a bit of a server tour, you know, new to the server, having a nose around, and yeah. uh, curious to see what you've been up to. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't have too much progress. Mm -hmm. I have a starter house. I have, I built a couple of parkours. I don't know if you're. Ooh, maybe I'll have to check them out. I'm not a good, I'm not good at parkour, so I'll probably embarrass myself. But we'll have a go. Yeah. But yeah, you can. Come in. It's a bit messy. I have like a bit chests everywhere, but it's not that messy. I was expecting like scar level like chest monster or something when you said that. <laughs> it's looking nice. Looking nice. What else, what else have you been up? I mean, you're coated fully in netherite. I see. Yeah. Well, I kind of I built my house pretty early, and I haven't done much with it. Nice little dining room. Yeah. The king looking like a king's chair. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm guessing that, that one's for um, Grum outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, what else have you been up to in your time on the server? Well, I'm, actually, I'm trying to think and it feels like I should have been up to more. <laughs> when it... Well, I, I did spend in the start, I spent a lot of time trying to get the correct trade. Is this Grum number two? Yeah. <laughs> and then all my other animals also seems to be... Ah. Uh, have, have you been pranked? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> how how does uh, riding a horse upside down look? Well, it, it looks kind of funny. It should be... Oh, wait. Yeah, <laughs> But it works. Oh, you're actually like on the feet when you jump there. You're on their rear feet. 
Well, that's a quick horse. Yeah, it should be one of the quicker. <laughs> that's funny. This is a quite um, a trick, a trippy experience on the eyes with all the upside down animals and yeah. all the roses planted. <laughs> yeah, there also was another prank. <laughs> The entire area was lower at one point. Oh, nice. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I'm probably spent most of my time up here trying to roll like the correct enchantments and get a good price. Ah, because you, you have the bookstore in the shopping district, right? Yeah. No entry without permission. Well, you have permission to enter. Yay. <laughs> Nice, nice. So uh, you have yourself a raid farm too, right? So you're just having lots of fun with these guys and trading loads? Yeah. Cool, cool. Or it hasn't been that much fun in the beginning with the bookstore and not having shulkers. Yes, yeah. There's been a lot of trips back and forth. You mean you didn't get yourself a donkey? Oh, why didn't I think about that? <laughs> You've got all the animals around but no donkeys. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I spent most of my time here and then on different streams I've building, been building for core and also I've done a bit of the work over in the shopping district. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to come back at some point and do some parkour. And uh, I think you were running a competition, right? I think I've missed the competition. Yeah, time. there was a competition on the first one, but it wasn't really much of a competition because... Two of them, I think, are built too difficult for most of the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at that and thinking I'd spend a lot of time in that water. <laughs> yeah, but then I build the third one, which I've tried to build as easy as possible, so okay, well, everyone could do it. I'll have to make sure I pop back and, and uh, have a go at the parkour, but thank you for showing me around. Yeah, no problem. And I'm sure I'll be spending uh, many diamonds in your bookstore in the near future. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Bjorn. Catch you later. Catch you. Now, I've had lots of fun on my early days here on the server. We uh, did manage to get ourselves some other tours, but uh, technical difficulties uh, meant they didn't make this episode. But we had managed to go and see Silent, and we had managed to go and see Vimru and see the progress that they've been up to. Now, Silent is a... Uh, was in the middle of converting a load of villagers, getting ready to take over the world. Whereas Vimru has built two bases already. So you'll have to go and check out their content. And do remember to go and check everyone else out on the server. They'll make sure to be links in the description. Now, aside from these farms that you can see behind me, you know, just, just back here, I have been busy. So let me show you what I've been up to. So over in this section over here, we have managed to get our villager breeder up and running and we've also connected it up you see here this was the river and we have added in a, uh, a load of dirt a load of grass because well we wanted to level it out we wanted to make a big expansive area as we were just saying to be on um, and well the villager breeder is going although this guy out here i think is actually causing issues i don't know how he's glitched out i'm assuming it's because it's one glass block He's managed to glitch out of the system and since he's done that I haven't had an additional villager get made because I'm guessing he's claimed one of these beds so they're all taken but we've got a handful in there but I actually need to get back in the mines get back gathering resources so I can put a build over this place because well it needs it doesn't it it's, it's too bland it's too green it's too brown we need some gray I'm gonna go gather resources but what you're gonna see is a time lapse of this beautiful build. And with that time lapse, the build is complete. Well, in its most part, we could probably do with adding some additional details in and around. But let's have a quick view of what we've got because we could probably do with seeing what palette we've got. And uh, I think it really works out nicely. We've, we've got clay, we've got light grey concrete powder, light grey wall, stone, andesite. 
Then we've used uh, some glow lichen to, to break up to add another bit of a block change. Over here is super, super blank at the moment. So we need to fill out this wall a bit more. I'm thinking uh, we should probably get a little layer that comes out here, perhaps a little coverage. Then around the back here, we've got these two little windows that uh, you might have seen scattered around in a few different places. And I've just tried to use some walls to add a different texture. Obviously, it's all andesite, but it just adds a bit of depth to the wall. Unfortunately, the fences don't join to walls, but we can put some spruce signs in place and make it look like it's been, uh, you know, battered and, and bruised. So let's go and place a few additional blocks and uh, see what it looks like at the end. And now with all those blocks put into place, all those little finer details, the build is complete. Tom. Tom. Got that. <laughs> it looks good. I thank, like it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I, I like these like broken, boarded up windows. Mm -hmm, really cool. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice feature. I'm liking it. Cool. Um, I, I, is... I had to... Um, this is the first time the people of my audience have seen you. Oh, okay. uh, I think stand until up. until this moment in time, people thought I was just making it up that I had a base buddy. But I <laughs> yeah. can now confirm this is color tongue, and we I are am base real. buddies. Yeah, you are real. Three hundred and sixty yeah. degrees. Lovely. Yeah, all angles looking great. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, base buddies. Hey, I mean, I think this is the first time I've ever had a base buddy. Mm -hmm. Same for me. I usually build alone. What about yourself? Yeah, pretty much the same. So I think yeah. we, uh, I mean, it could be it could be a challenge. We could have so yeah. many contrasting ideas of where we want to yeah. go. But well, we haven't the... clashed so far, have no. we? We haven't clashed no. yet. So, so far, good. so good. Um, I think the idea, like these broken down, old, poor looking buildings, mm -hmm. I mean, I think we can both pull it off in quite distinct styles. So... <laughs> I think they'll I think they'll work and complement each other for yeah. sure. We can both look poor. Yeah. We, <laughs> I mean you are wearing some really scatty uh looking shoes there. Oh uh, e yeah. And your leather cap as well. Yeah, is at least it's enchanted. Oh yeah, I mean it has got that beautiful sparkly glint to it. It's actually got like Aqua Infinity and Protection 4. Oh right, so it's fully <laughs> 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 Excellent. Oh, so right. show me around. What else have you done? Well, well, we. This is obviously covering the villager breeder, as you can probably hear, because they've been yeah. very annoying back there. Bit of a racket. <laughs> uh, we've added in this awning on the right just to break up the wall, mm. and then we if we take a little further step back out here. We've tried to use some blast furnaces to look like I don't know some air air conditioning units. Yeah, cool. Uh, and obviously, given where we're at in the in the world, I wanted something relatively cheap. <laughs> I could yeah, have put like auto crafters or something yeah, else yeah. up there, but or observers. But yeah. Well, when we become a little bit richer, you know, we can upgrade certain bits, can't we? Mm -hmm, Should mm -hmm. we feel the need? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and like the the windows, like I said before, it looks great, and the <clears throat> the blast furnaces. And what about, what about, oh, you, you did do the back as well. I oh, did more around the back. the back. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I didn't really know what, what we're going to do around the back of here. So I made sure to do something. Yeah. Well, I think kind of the idea of having these close proximity builds, it might be like the whole side or even two sides of some of the buildings aren't, um, aren't visible. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And I did do some decor on this side as well. It's actually decorated all the way around. Try to use some iron bars to make it look like a ladder. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like an escape ladder um, kind of thing. It's a bit slippery though. I mean, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get up it anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good though. Looks good. I like yeah. it. Aesthetics, aesthetics. So tell, yeah. me, what, tell me, what have you, what have you been up to? Because, um, I mean, we've well, been online a fair amount, but this is actually the first time people get to see you the redstone i also added an autocrafter to the redstone that you did for the skelly farm oh yeah oh yeah so um, we go check down? it out if you yeah, like let's head down there all right let's go i just realized you have a mushroom on your head <laughs> yeah yeah i got a mushroom <laughs> on my head it's because i'm a fun guy tom i'm a fun <laughs> guy <laughs> <laughs> wow um 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, and on that been uh, waiting. cheesy note, what, what, we got, what, what we got down here? Oh, okay, okay. We've got, so the first thing we found in our area was a skelly spawner. Mm -hmm. And um, down on tough with the new blocks, which I haven't used yet. So. Yes, 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 yes. I haven't Oops. mentioned this. We, we have the data pack, don't we, on our new server mm -hmm. that's got yeah. the new blocks coming. They're very nice. They Very are. Nice. They are really cool. They're a good complementary color to a lot of the kind of other stone blocks. Yeah. So I'm um, looking forward to kind of using those for blending and stuff. Yeah, it's uh, feeling quite atmospheric coming down here. Ye yeah, nice. I wanted to keep it dark. Um, I did, however, have to put a torch here because I think I ran out of candles down here to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I take that torch out, then it, this bit here is too dark. Ah. It's too dark, so um, <laughs> I don't want to get blown up, Tom. Oh, and we we have the copper gates. What are these? The copper? They are. What are they called? The copper. Copper grates. Yeah, Cop copper grates. Cop yeah, copper grates. I, I knew I was close. It's these things. These things will cost you maybe a mortgage or two. Oh wow! Okay. In copper in copper <laughs> blocks because these things are expensive. And are these not? Are the, the grates not expensive? I don't think they're as expensive as these, because these take oh, okay. block. Is it six copper copper blocks? Oh, wow. Like, what's six that? Copper six blocks, times yeah. nine. Math, math and too late. Go on, Tom. 54. Come on, you can do it. 54. <laughs> I did, did it. it. Did it. Ooh, 54 did ingots it. for one yeah. trap door. What'd you I get to? You get two, yeah. So Still half that. Lot. But yeah, they're nice, and you know they they weather really cool, so you can get a good blend of them. Yeah, and because they yeah. got these nice holes through. You, they they yeah, they kind of add a different type of block, really. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of like what trap doors do, but a full block, which is quite nice, and like seeing through and um, and yeah, I think they could, you can waterlog them as well. Okay, okay, so some fun to be had with there. Yeah, I haven't tried that though, so. Oh, you have a book it in your hand. <laughs> you want me to try it? Let's try it. Yeah, you can waterlog them. Okay, I did that with, okay. with confidence. <laughs> um, Interesting. Interesting. And what's the other block that we have? Uh, the autocrafter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the autocrafter. I'm so um, looking forward to playing around with that. It is pretty good. So behind here, we do have some autocraft magic happening. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh, down um, in the hole. In the hole. So this, you, can you get out? <laughs> Are you trapped you down there forever now? <laughs> I think I brought scaffolding with me. Um, but you set up this, um, yeah, so just a basic item filter. Yeah, yeah. Like um, a single um, item sorter, getting us some bows and gear. Yeah. Yeah. And this okay. one here for bones. Yeah. And then obviously just getting rid of the rest bin. of the rubbish. Yeah. Bin, yeah. lava yeah. bin. But yeah, here, I mean, it's a bit compact because it was a bit of a small space. Mm -hmm. But what's happening is we're getting bones into this autocrafter here. And I think if you drop down the other side, Tom, you can see it a bit easier here. Okay. Um, there is a comparator coming out of this bottom crafter. Yeah, okay. Which is set to take one, uh, one space is free. So essentially that is giving a power of eight. Right. And when that is filled with a bone, the comparator, which is on subtract mode, which should be, if you can mm -hmm. if you can see it. I yeah. do have some scaffolding here. I've um, is on subtract time. mode. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. The comparator <laughs> is also uh, reading the um, composter, which is also set to level uh power eight so if you have a look at f3 okay. so it's locking it's set it. to power eight yeah so when those two are are, are matching then you get a, a redstone power of zero which powers this piston which pushes this observer up and then powers both crafters so oh. it will shoot the bone mill up and when the bone mill goes up it you know eventually fills the um uh the top crafter which has all nine spaces free yeah and then obviously when the last bone mill is pushed from the bottom crafter into the top, they're both powered enough to push out the bone uh, the bone block cool. into the water stream and then so into our inventory. Is there any um, setup on the, the bone block one or is that just like taking nine 
bone meal and send it out. Yeah, so that is if you open up, you've got no slots disabled. Got yeah. So this this because obviously an observer clock will power essentially two blocks. It's bud powered. Yeah. Right? Power yep. the, the 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 crafter here and the crafter below. Um, but the crafter below is the one that triggers the clock to be enabled. So we're back where it all began. And, well, I've hurt myself a few diamonds, and I think it's time we have a little nose around, see what we can spend. Books. We have already spent a few diamonds in here, getting some and breaking and mending books. You may have just seen it in my inventory. We have managed to sort ourselves out. Some decent gear. We have a fully enchanted silk touch and fortune pick as well. We got 64. Three diamonds. Wow, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. If I wasn't going to build an iron farm myself, I would definitely be spending. Let's um hook up the horse. Now, in typical Tomby92 fashion, I haven't got a name for this horse. So if any of you watching this do think of a name, do let me know. And we can we can name this lovely looking horse. Let's head inside. Looking at bows here, Colour already did me a great favour by making me a fully enchanted bow. Now you might see the name Gunga. And this arrow is Din. Gunga Din. Now, Colour was so kind and considerate that he made my bow and arrow after one of my favourite Libertine songs, which is really, really cool. We're going to have to make sure we repay that kindness some way or another throughout the course of the season. Heading outside and seeing what else in the shopping district. I believe this is new. And this is Beacons. Oops, two, two diamond blocks for both. Someone's incredibly undersold there. So we've got Beacons for sale, which I think for sure we are going to make the most of. Because as we said with Colour, we want to put our farms underground, which means we're going to have a lot of area to clear out. So Beacons will be valuable. Now for an episode one, I think that's going to be about it. If you've enjoyed it, do remember to drop a like on this video. Do remember to subscribe to the channel. Check out the description for all the other artisan collective members. Go and drop them a like and a subscribe as well. I look forward to seeing you all next time.